Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're talking about solving simultaneous equations on graphs. Okay, so the example one, we're going to graph the following equations. y equals 2x minus 1 and y equals minus x plus 5. Hence, find the solution to the simultaneous equations. Okay, these are two straight line graphs. Before we continue, you must understand uh, your straight line graphs in the form y equals mx plus c. If you're not confident with y equals mx plus c, you need to watch my videos on straight line graphs before we continue. I will link them in the description. Okay, the first one, y equals 2x minus 1. That has a y-intercept of minus 1, so it's definitely going to go through 0 minus 1, that coordinate there. It's also got a gradient of 2. So if it goes across one square, it's going to go up two like that. And so it's going to go through those two blue points there. And we can connect those up with a ruler. It's going to go like that. Now we've also got y equals minus x plus 5. And that has a y-intercept of 5. And the number in front of the x is a minus 1x. The minus x means minus 1x. That means it's got a gradient of minus 1. So if it goes across one square, it's going to go down one. The gradient is negative. And so it'll go through these two points here and we can connect those two up with a ruler. You can also graph these straight lines using a table of values and plot a straight line graph uh, the slower way, but both ways work. Now you should see that these two lines cross over and they've got a point of intersection here. The coordinates of that point of intersection tell us the solution to the straight line to the simultaneous equations. The coordinate is 2, 3. So that means the solution is x equals 2 and y equals 3. And we've done. That is the solution to the simultaneous equations. Now the next one is graph the following equations y equals x plus 2 and y equals x squared minus 4x plus 3. Hence, find an estimate for the solutions to the simultaneous equations. Okay, so we're going to start with y equals x squared minus 4x plus 3. And to graph that, we need to do a table of values. And so we set up a table of values where we've got x equals minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we have, uh, we're going to find the y coordinates matching those x coordinates. To do that, we just substitute the x coordinates into the equation. So let's start with minus 1, x is equal to minus 1. And so we're going to replace all the x with the x's with minus 1. Like this. Okay, do you see what I've done there? I've replaced all the x's with minus 1. I can now work that out with my calculator. Remember to use brackets around minus 1. And if you type that into your calculator, you should get 8. So y is equal to 8. The matching y coordinate is 8. I can now repeat that with the other x coordinates, x equals 0, x equals 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and I will get this table of values here. You can try that in your own time, but in the interest of uh, speed, I've just done that for you. Okay, I now have a bunch of coordinates, and so if I uh, look at this, the uh, coordinates from this table I give them below. And uh, so the x equals minus 1 and y equals 8 gives me the coordinate minus 1, 8. 0, 3 gives me 0, 3. I can now start plotting those coordinates. So I put minus 1, 8 at the coordinate minus 1, 8. 0, 3. 1, 0. 2, minus 1. 3, 0. 4, 3. And 5, 8. And you should see it makes a nice U shape, like a normal quadratic. It looks like this. Perfect. That's how we expect quadratics to look. Now I need to plot the line y equals x plus 2. That has a y-intercept of 2 and has a gradient of 1. So it goes through these two points here and goes like that. You could also do that one with a table of values if you, desire, if you choose. Okay, so now we've got uh, these two graphs plotted um, and we're going to find an estimate for the solutions to the simultaneous equations. 
Okay, so there's two points of intersection here, and that means there's two solutions. So you can see these two points of intersection where the two lines cross over are the solutions. Uh, when you've got quadratic sometimes equations, when you've got a quadratic, it is qu quite often you have two different sets of solutions. Okay, so the first solution is at the coordinate 0 0.2, 2.2. Uh, this is just an estimate because it's very hard to see exactly what this will be. Because again, we graphed it with pencil and paper. Uh, it's not a perfect graph. Um, and so it is somewhat of an estimate. So I'm guessing that is about 0 0.2 across and 2.2 up. In the exam, if you wrote 0 0.1 and 2.3, uh, you would get the mark because you are within one decimal place. Now, the other coordinate is about 4.8 and 6.8. And again, there is some uh, flexibility there in the exam. If you put 4.9 instead of 4.8, you would still probably get the mark. Okay, so 0 0.2 and 2.2 give us that the x coordinate is 0 0.2 and y is 2.2. And the other coordinate is x is 4.8 and y is 6.8. And that's the two separate set of solutions, and we have finished. We have found the solutions to simultaneous equations. Okay? I've shown you all the examples from today's video, so I'm going to give you uh, this one to try. And it says, graph the following equations, y equals minus 2x plus 2, and y equals x squared minus 2x. And hence, find the solutions to simultaneous equations. Again, this will just be an estimate. So you can pause the video and try this yourself. Uh, I would recommend using graph paper, or you could screenshot uh, this screen and draw it over this screen. Pause the video and try this yourself. should take about five minutes. When you're ready, I'll reveal the answers in three, two, one. Did you get it correct? Let me know how well you did in the comments below. Thanks for watching this week's video from Advanced Maths. Remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. We're covering GCSE, A-Level and IB Maths videos with quick and simple explanations. There's more videos coming soon. If you'd like to see more, you can go to advancedmaths.com online. Thanks for watching guys and good luck in your exams.